Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy E2 Blue coming back at you again. Hey, so uh, <laughs> I just want to quickly talk about what I thought about Dak being on Undisputed. Now, I actually thought it was going to be worse than what I saw. It actually wasn't that bad. Um, of course, they kept asking Dak about, you know, it's 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 media, it's it's controversy, it's the Dallas Cowboys, it's Dak Prescott. You know, they tried to ask him about, you know, compare what he thought comparing himself to Carson Wentz and him and you know you know he's not gonna say he's not gonna admit that oh I'm better than Carson Wentz or he's not gonna say I, I'm worse than Carson Wentz basically he went the high road and Dak is smart and Dak was just like hey um I know what I can do I know the type of player that I can be I know that I'm a good quarterback and it is what it is but of course they kept going back to Carson Wentz you know um which team was going to win the East, which team is going to be better this year. You know, he always, he, he basically gave Carson Wentz praise. Hey, I, I respect him as a player. It is what it is. You know what I mean? But as far as basically what he's saying is I ain't focusing on Carson. I'm worried about myself, getting myself better and getting this team to win in the playoffs and hopefully get to the Super Bowl. and smart man. And, and, and he answered the questions, right? Um, skip is hilarious. Um, uh, Skip is hilarious. Shannon Sharp is just like, you know, he don't, he claimed he don't like the Cowboys. So, you know, he going to say this, that, and the third. And at the end of the day, he admitted at the end of the video that he um, basically, he uh, <laughs> he had a bet that the Cowboys weren't going to make the playoffs. So he basically saying that, uh, hey, Dak, you ain't going to make the playoffs. But Dak's like, hey, I'm gunning for myself. Um, Skip said, hey, he, well, they, they basically asked Dak if, um, Dak thought that they were 11, 12 win team. He said, hey, I'm going to leave that to y'all. You guys are the analysts. Let y'all do y'all job. And he said when he mentioned 10, he was like, Dak was like, I'll take that, you know, because everybody knows 10 wins should get you into the playoffs. And it would have this past year if we would have won that Dak on Falcons game. See, that Falcons game last year, that one, when you go back and look at that, that one bit us in the ass. Oh, and the Rams too. Both of those games. If we would have won either one of those games, we wouldn't went to the playoffs. But again, that's last year. That's dead. But um, like I said, he stood in there and he's like he stood in the pocket. He stood in there strong. He answered them questions and he ain't let him. He ain't let him fluster. He didn't let him. He basically said, "Hey, I'm, I'm focused right now on this team. I'm ready for the playoffs." He mentioned Cole Beasley too as being a guy that you know. Is, is a steady target for him, like like Jason Witten, basically. So I thought that was interesting, too. And he and he spoke on, he didn't say specifically, but he spoke on the young guys, saying that the young guys are um, good, and, and he liked what he sees so far um, with these guys that's coming on the team on the offense as far as the wide receivers go. And um, he's very high on Tavon Austin, and that's another thing, too. Like, Tavon Austin is uh, going to be a gonna be something for this team because he's fast and if we use him right we're gonna be good now Dak Prescott also said that um well when they asked him about the Cole Beasley thing they said that um oh how come Cole Beasley's numbers dipped about half basically less than half of what they were last year he was just like well well more than half of what they were last year and he said well basically you know common sense you do good as a receiver. Defensive defensive players get paid in this league too. So they basically were like, he basically was like, hey, they watch tape. They know who's good. So they started double teaming him. They started bracketing him. They started, you know, paying attention to Cole Beasley because and that's and that's every receiver. If you do well the year before and you they come back the next season, they're gonna make sure that they're watching you. They're gonna make sure that. They're going to stop you. They're going to make sure that you ain't doing nothing to succeed or getting numbers like you did the previous year because fool me once, fool me twice. You ain't going to fool me again. So that's that's pretty much how they felt about that. But overall, you know, like I said, he did good answering the questions. Um, he, <laughs> he he's like I said, he stood in there, did his thing. So, you know, I'm, I'm proud of Dak and his maturity. One thing that you can't say about Dak is that he's not mature. That is a mature young kid. Okay, yeah, the water guns, whatever. Again, he's still in his 20s. You can still have fun. 
But what I'm saying is when it comes to this football team and him trying to take over this team and being the best quarterback he can be, he knows what he has to work on, and he will work on that. And Dak Prescott will be a better quarterback. I'm just saying, again, he's young. Shit takes time, y'all. Like, let him do his thing. And like I said, I'm proud of the young boy. Um, we'll see what happens this year. I'm looking forward to training camp to see what see what transpires, see who uh, shines and who dwindles, dwindles out like a candle in the wind. So we'll see what happens. So with that being said, y'all, thanks again for all my subscribers. Uh, like, share, comment on the video. Let me know what y'all think. Um, yeah, this has been your boy E2Blue, always keeping it real. I'll talk to y'all soon.